Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the introduction to curves. In previous lectures, we have discussed about the ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola. Now we are discussing about the remaining curves in that cycloid, involute, spiral, and helix. Okay, this is the part two of the engineering curves. In part one, we have covered the ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola. Now, involute, cycloid, spiral, and helix. Then, how we can draw the involute on circle? We have to discuss that. Then, in case of the cycloid, how we can draw the cycloid on a circle but there are different types of the cycloid is not included in the syllabus of first year engineering then in case of the spiral there is spiral on spiral of the one convolution and spiral of the two convolutions are there and helix on cylinder and cone this is the syllabus now there is one problem draw an involute of circle string length is equal to the circumference of circle at that time take at particular diameter of circle then draw pi d distance of horizontal line divide circle into some equal parts now here divide into the eight equal parts then divide the pi d distance also into the same number of parts that is the eight number of parts right then draw tangent from one two three four five six and seven and take one p distance in a compass from this horizontal line one p distance in a compass and mark on this first tangent take two to p distance in a compass mark from point two of the circumference of circle and mark mark on this tangent Similarly, 3 to p distance in a compass, take this as a center, draw a arc, take 4 to p distance in a compass, take 4 as a center, mark on this line. Same, similarly, 5, 6, and 7, respectively, and join all the points or end point of this p1, p2, p3, p4, p5, p6, p7, and 8. So if we draw this curve or join the arcs, we'll get curve one curve like this. This known as the involute. If the pi d, the string length is more than the pi d, then what we have to do? This is not included in engineering syllabus, but in previous syllabus it is included. So at that time, take p distance in a compass and there is no end of the string at 8 because this distance is equal to pi d but this is the extra distance here so that end is in between 8 and 1 on the circumference of circle like this this known as the involute what happens if length is less than pi d then where it will be end in between 7 and 8. See, where is point P in between 7 and 8? That means P will be in between 7 and 8. The procedure is same, same is divide circle into some equal parts. If we are making 8 parts, then divide this line or circumference, uh, circumference of circle into 8 equal parts so that the point P's end is at this point then you can see here take this point p is at here in this at this point take this much distance in compass mark here similarly 2 to p 3 to p 4 to p 5 to p 6 to p and you can see here end at in between 7 to 8 then what is cycloid Problem statement is draw locus of a point on the periphery of circle 
which rolls on straight line path take cylinder circle diameter as 50 mm so diameter of circle is 50 mm then divide the circle into 12 equal parts then take pi d m of distance in a compass and draw a horizontal line similarly draw a horizontal line from each and every point then divide this into uh, center line to 12 equal parts so that that center c1 c2 c3 up to c12 at this at this process at that time take c1 as a center then radius is same here that center is changes from c1 to c12 and mark on the first line if center is c1 mark on first line we get first point at this point at this place then c2 as a center radius is equal to same mark on two c3 as a center mark on third then we get a third point similarly for fourth similarly for fifth will be at here somewhere like this is that here and six jo hai, six is at straight point here so similarly for the remaining half join all the points we get cycloid like this thank you